When you come to buy products like uh, gelebelige fish, they tell you, mit darf sich fieren wie verzarten, sich mit sich mul. Even though the reason of gelebelige fish, that fish was preserved in uh, alcohol, and alcohol was chumitz, doesn't apply anymore today with freezers and everything else. But so gefeert so verzarten, es darf sich water so fieren. But I don't understand why, when it comes to Pesach kitchens, I'm going to get certain the obvious of a sign which got Pesach kitchens. I don't, I don't think any my grandmother, my great grandmother had Pesach kitchens. Before Pesach, she cleaned out the thing a day before and made Pesach thing, and that was that. There was no such thing as Pesach ovens, Pesach kitchens, extra parts, a, a whole bath for the, or Kenwood for the for Pesach and this for that. They made simple Pesach. They made Pesach was quite easy. When it comes to our modernities of making things, we go for tartans, tartans, fita zoi. And when it comes to our wanting our all our facilities, but we need all the up to date thing, up to date models and things. A Pesach kitchen. If you can, how can you make Pesach without Pesach kitchen? And how can you have cook without uh, without twenty thousand products on the market? I don't know why the Riz Rabunim gives so many products on the market. What's the necessity of it? It takes away the whole atmosphere of Pesach, of restraining yourself in what you eat. I don't understand these Rabunim. I don't know where they come from. Is it only money? Because these things, and people spend, spend, spend. Recession? What's that? Who cares about recession? They spend like mad. I was watching somebody's basket. You should have seen how much chocolate and crisps and schmisps and other things that they bought. You've never seen. Go inside if you don't believe me. Now it's before Pesach, well, maybe till this comes on, it'll be after Pesach. Go and have a look for yourself. Just watch it. Watch the way these people fill on their baskets for Pesach, fill on their buying for Pesach. What rubbish and things they buy. I can't understand why they don't teach their children restraint. From where will a child learn restraint? When will he learn that he can't have everything? I don't understand this. Um, I think I'm. I don't think I'm the only one. Lots of people have told me. But when it comes to uh, tradition, we don't have. We have falsche fish. That means we don't eat fish. And this one does eat only only labeling and fish. And this one only eats. I don't know what other things they do. He doesn't use water. And this one doesn't, doesn't use. Ca- and this one doesn't use uh, water. He doesn't use. I don't know all these products. You know something. One of the most interesting things is you think that satma the most extreme in Pesach. No, they're not. You know other most extreme Hasidim in Pesach who got restrictions over the head? You know who they are? The Lubavitchers. They don't have any man-made product at home. No man-made product. Most Lubavitchers, the real Lubavitcher, doesn't buy any man-made product. Every product is produced at home. And sugar, they boil up. And uh, what else? Schmaltz. They don't have these butters and kushmikhaf chalivim. None of these things. They, a real Lubavitcher doesn't use any products. They're the most extreme when it comes to Pesach.